Hello. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload new videos. Electromobility is something everybody is talking about and you can see loads and loads of these cars already in our roads. But for some people, it's still new. And the guys at Mercedes, they thought about that and I think they found a nice solution which is called Transparent EQC. And that is a car the trainees of Mercedes built. And what they did with their car, what their car represents and what it is for, we're going to find out today. An EQC which was completely configured by the trainees has been dismantled to be used as the source vehicle for setting up the transparent EQC. It was fascinating to work on a current electric model, because in times of electromobility this is very important. Very often you just look at the theory without the practical part. But here we had the chance to experience the real work in combination with the theory. And this was really cool. Around 40 trainees from the professional groups of automotive mechatronics, vehicle interior fitters, construction mechanics and toolmakers were involved into the projects. Now at the end you see for the very first time how much work it really was. There were so many parts to be worked on and so many details to deal with. And now you recognize how many people worked on the project for how long. And now we will have a closer look into our new EQC to really see what happens if you make things of such a car transparent. So the first thing you're, that catches your eyes is the star for sure because that is illuminated. And behind that you instantly see all the sensors. But I think more important is when you look really under the hood. Because here you do not only find the power unit up here, which is completely you know, flatted out to give you an impression of how many different levels you find, you also find the front engine, so one of the hearts of the car. And you can not only see um, the rotor inside, you can also see all the electronics that needed to yeah, power the car up. A very nice detail is this cage around the front engine, because that's not only there to make the front engine being safe and secure inside of the car, it's also there to yeah, represent the measurements of the original combustion engine of the GLC, because that's the base of each EQC. And um, there are loads of other bits and pieces to explore, and the nice things you can look into nearly every detail. There were two different fields of education for our apprentices. On the technical part, they learned a lot about electromobility and digitalization. Because these were the main things they worked on during the project. On the other hand, they had the chance to develop their personalities. Because they had to work with other apprentices from different years. And they had to work together with people from other professions as well as from other factories. And a big advantage for them was the opportunity to work with our development departments. Because there they had specialists to tell them how to program and install things on the car or how to make them visible. This is not the day-to-day -day stuff. Normally we work on the standard combustion cars here. But we do not see what's inside a car like the EQC in detail. We saw every part, had it in our hands, illuminated it and saw the development till the end. And because of this kind of a journey we will never forget it. Looking at the side of our EQC, it looks a bit like you look into a transparent door. Because you do find parts of the safety structure here, but more important, you do find um, the mechanic, or you can see into the mechanic of the power window, which I think is quite interesting. But then opening the door up, um, you see these young guys, they do open everything like here, because there's another hole in the door where you can find parts of the locker of the door of the car. And then looking inside of the car is always worth doing it because there is the open up airbag up here. But looking down is also even more interesting because you can see parts of the cage of the engine as well as the structure of the battery. And then you do find all these cables down here which yeah, keep the car alive and there's loads and loads of it. But that's not everything. You do find this widescreen 
uh, there inside of the car with the MBUX and to make that being alive again in that dead car is not so easy. This is a video. It's a new computer, a Windows machine where we put the files on. And this was the challenge. Because normally this is the job of the control unit. It wakes up the displays and tells them what to show. But in this case we had to fake it. But to make it look so real was exactly the biggest issue. And this was on the other hand the biggest kick. To see that the display finally works was like a dream come true. <laughs> the program code for controlling the two monitors of the widescreen display alone is around 1,500 lines long. We always told them they are free to decide what to do and to be creative, to let them learn as much as they can. Nothing of the standard technology is still working. The car is dead. Everything that is illuminated now was built by us. Like the start, the grill or the running lights on the battery. All that could only be seen from special angles. Really cool. Going to the end of the side of the car, you see how passionate these young people really are. Because they not open up the part down here to give me a view into the charging uh, bits and pieces of my EQC. They also open up that one. And the funny thing is when I plug that in, that works and you can instantly see how the energy starts flowing. The conversion was about making details of the vehicle visible and show functions, for instance, by using light effects. It's amazing to see that we are part of something so big. And it was great fun because we are allowed to work completely free. And to see now that it goes public as well makes me very proud. On that tablet now an app is running which Mercedes is using to educate their stuff. And that is something like an X-ray, it's augmented reality. And I can see for instance now the battery and I can even have a closer look into that one. Absolutely fantastic. Looking in the boot of our EQC, you not only have to talk about boot size or something like the floor, you can see a lot more, like the complete unit of the onboard charger or the rear axle with the rear engine, so the second heart of our two hearts, including the transmission. But there is a lot more to explore. You can really look into every single bit and pieces. It is very important to us to show exactly this car. It is our first fully electric model and we wanted to take the chance to make the technology transparent. For our trainees as well as for our stuff here. There are still so many people who are a bit scared about the electromobility. And we wanted to show them what we got. Really great cars. And this is a perfect example for it. That was my first view at and for sure into the transparent Mercedes EQC. And there are three topics I really do like with that project. First of all, it gives trainees the opportunity to really have a, a look at the, the global thing into the whole project of building or uh, working with a car. And the other thing is, it is not just a show car which will stand somewhere and some people will look at it, it will be used for training, it will be used for people to understand how interesting, how yeah, important electrification will be and is already. And the other thing is, I was never allowed to look so deep into a car before. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.